Tesla have turned your key card into a universal charge card. Does this also mean the end of the Electroverse card? Tesla have been quietly rolling out the Tesla Multipass across Europe and here in the UK. This allows you to use your Tesla key card as a payment option at non-Tesla chargers, just like you can with the Electroverse card. So to set up and activate your Tesla Multipass on your Tesla key card, it's very simple. So if you open up your Tesla app, scroll down to charging, then manage payment, then you'll see Tesla Multipass. So if I click on that, activate, and then an activate card. Done. So just like the Electroverse card, you can use your Tesla key card once it's programmed for multipass uh, on third party chargers like this MFG charger here. So if I just authenticate and now select which charger I want, obviously I want CCS. And you can see CCS plug is flashing. And plug in. And now we just wait for the car to communicate with the charger. A few moments later. And there we go, charging. So let's go and have a look. As you can see, I've got 63% battery. I don't really need a charge. So this is just for the sake of this video. So I'm going to stop the charge. Are you sure you want to stop? Definitely. So once you've finished your charging session, you can find all your charge details in the Tesla app. And you can also find your invoice, which would be handy if you need to claim expenses. So this is one of the advantage of the Tesla Multipass that all your charging sessions, whether it be supercharging or third party, are all captured in one single app. As a Tesla owner, you're going to be relying on the Tesla supercharging network most of the time. But there may be occasions you need to use a third party charger. There are parts of the UK that are still like a supercharging desert. Take Mid Wales, for instance. So for those that aren't aware, you can find third party chargers on your navigation within the Tesla screen. So if you go to the car symbol, bring up navigation and scroll, you can see show charging uh, third party charging stations. So if I enable that, if I come out, and let's go to the maps and scroll out and let's see what we can see. Uh, so what's this one there? You've got EG on the move. And you've also got the MFG. So with the third party ones, you can still precondition. So if I navigated to the MFG charger here, you can see the car will start to precondition. So no difference than the uh, Tesla supercharging network in that respect. So a nice little tip if you find yourself caught short, uh, not in the vicinity of a Tesla supercharger. There are still some advantages of using the Electroverse card along the lines of getting a discounted rate at uh, certain charge point operators, as well as the Electroverse card is probably more widely available currently than the multi-pass from Tesla is. However, obviously this may change. Tesla may be able to bargain a uh, discounted rate in the future, uh, and I'm sure availability will become more widespread as the uh, system is rolled out. So let me know in the comments if you're a Tesla owner and you would look to use the Tesla Multipass if you had to use a third party charger, or would you still look to use the Electroverse card for the discounted rates? Also, if you do like this sort of content, then I'd be really grateful if you'd happen to give this video a like or a subscribe. It would really help this channel out. And again, if you do like the content, then you may like this video over here. Until next time, catch you later.